welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I do all things embroidery plus more, which is exciting because this is a brand new year. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and celebrated New Year's with a bang. Um, we were pretty quiet over here, so which was nice actually. <laughs> I prefer quiet New Year's. But we still stayed up till midnight, watched the countdown, and enjoyed stepping into the new year. So I hope everybody has wonderful plans for this new year. I, I sure do. I'm so excited. So many awesome things are gonna go on this year and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and uh, like this video. In this tutorial series we will be starting this awesome stocking. Um, I had so much fun making the stocking so I'm going to show you step by step how to make it. In this particular video I will show you how to complete the front of the stocking. Not the girl yet, just the front. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what you get when you have the kit. You get a nice picture on the front, and you get some instructions, and you get some floss. The ring and the floss organizer doesn't come with it, you have to buy it separately. You get speeds and sequins and a couple of needles, and all of your stamped felt. This particular kit is on the bigger side, so there's a little bit more felt to it. But we're going to start with the instructions here. If I can get them open one-handed. <laughs> okay, so here is a picture, a reference guide. I have all the, all the felt is numbered and stamped for your convenience. So we're going to start with the lining. I buy my felt separately and I use the back of the stocking that I'm working on as a template and I cut out the lining. So here is the lining cut out, and it's pinned still, so I'm just going to put this off to the side, and we're going to work with the very first piece. And the first piece requires some sequins and beads, so I'm going to grab some sequins and beads, and some of them have snowflakes. Now I'm using two strands of white and the beading needle to do this. Make sure you refer to the front of the stocking the picture so you know which ones are beads and which ones are snowflakes because it doesn't really tell you on the felt itself it just gives you dot references so okay so I only go through the bead and sequin once and then I come back down and that's it I knot after each one of these because they're kind of far apart so I'm just gonna knot each individual bead and sequin, and then I'm just going to move on to the next one. And, uh, okay, there we go. I'm just going to show you how I knot, and I usually use a double knot. If you're making this kit, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your feedback on what you think of this kit so far. I'm going to do the rest of these beads off camera. Okay, so the beads and sequins are on there, and now it doesn't really tell you, it doesn't really give you a dot for the snowflake, so you kind of have to eyeball it, which I thought was interesting. But here's piece number two. This is a simple applique piece. There are no embellishments on this piece. So we're going to grab one strand of green that matches the felt, and we're going to applique this piece onto it. And I'm just going to show you the beginnings of the applique stitch. And my thread gets caught on beads all the time. <laughs> Anybody else have this problem? Comment down below if you understand the pain. <laughs> okay, so there's the beginnings and you're just gonna do that all the way around. And then we're gonna do number three. So here's the second piece of the tree that we're doing and we do the same exact thing with beads and sequins. It's the same, same thing. I'm not gonna show you a million times because there's a tons of beading and sequining along this project, so. Now we're gonna, and for some reason the trees aren't stuffed, which I thought was interesting because you look at it and you think, oh yeah, they stuffed the trees. No, these actually aren't stuffed. So that was an interesting uh, thing that I learned on this kit. Don't always assume that everything is stuffed. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna applique the rest of this off camera. And here is the top of the tree. 
completely appliqued and there's a finished tree. And I grabbed the white piece, that's the middle piece for the front of the stocking. And I grabbed one strand of white and we are going to line up the felt pieces along the dotted line. Make sure that the dotted line is covered. You don't want to see it. If for some reason you applique the piece and you still see some dotted line on the blue felt, take the very tip of your needle and you can gently rub the stamp off. The stamp is not permanent. It can be rubbed off. So I get that question a lot actually, um, which is interesting because it, it, it seems like a no brainer, but I've, been, I've done so many of these kits that I just think, oh yeah, it's just rub it off. But I guess most people don't really think of that. So anyway, so rub the stamp off if you don't like it showing. So I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna applique this white piece onto the blue and always choose the color of thread that you're working with on top. So in this case, I'm using white because I'm working on top of white felt. It doesn't matter what's going on behind me, but I wanna make sure that the top thread is matching the top felt. It's a lot cleaner that way. So I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I finished the applique stitch. Looks nice and neat. And for some reason, I don't know why, this, there, there is beads on here. For some reason the stamp, it, it's not stamped. So I had to go back and put beads on it later. But anyway, I added the, the second tree on there and it's not stuffed, by the way. And I added those extra, the white, the white I added extra because I liked some variety. And then I went ahead and added the beads and the snowflakes. I just thought it was so strange that normally the, the pieces have beads, bead dots on them. And for some reason that piece didn't, so weird. Okay, so I'm adding those and I'm actually going to fill that part in later because I wanna add a tag to it. So I'm gonna actually make a tag for this particular kit because this kit I'm going to sell on my store. So it's a lot easier for me to add a name when um, it's on a tag. So I'm just showing you what, what I'm working on next. Okay, and now here's the second piece of white felt that's kind of creating this like hills of snow type look. And now you can start seeing the outline of the skate girl. And that's where number 13 goes. And even though the dots don't come to the edge, the piece itself does. So make sure that you do that. And okay, so all of this, the, the skating marks on the ice, that's an outline stitch. I just wanna point that out. If you don't know how to do an outline stitch, I do have a separate video that I will put in the cards here. Check that out. It's a very fast video. The the skates, the black part of the skates, that's a back stitch. I also have a different um, video for that. And I'll link that up in the cards as well for you to check out. And I'm just using a couple of pins to place this blue ice looking piece that completes the very front of this stocking. So basically we used four different felt pieces to layer on top of each other to create the front of the stocking. And I went ahead and applied it on there. Looks really good so far. Here's a view from the back. Um, I did do, uh, I did leave those, so I didn't quite go back there and, you know, applied those because it's gonna get covered up anyway, so I didn't bother. So here's number 14, another white felt piece. And again, the beaded dots are not there. That is so strange. So make sure that you bead these and kind of do it by eye. Just go along the edge. This is why I always refer to the picture because some sometimes, you know, the kits come like that. So make sure you add that snowflake there and this is what your stocking should look like so far. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited to share this particular stocking with you. And I, in my next video, uh, make sure that you look out for that. I will be continuing the stocking. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.